You know, in many lessons here in the pumpkin patch, uh, Glenna also had uh, this particular pumpkin, which I think was easy maybe to give up. So can you tell us a little bit of the history behind this pumpkin? Yes, I love this pumpkin. All pumpkins are not round. All pumpkins are not orange. Um, so let me show you this guy. Wow. <laughs> It's more oval shaped, more flat, and kind of a creamy color. Now this pumpkin, the plant started out very scrawny, was not growing well. I think the soil was a little too wet in the early spring. Most growers would have just pulled the plant out and did not waste their time on it, but I would not give up on it. I got the seed from a good friend of mine, so I was not giving up on it. Then when the plant grew, this was a late pollination. The pumpkin got started late. It was scrawny. Here again, it's like, should I keep going with it? Yes, I wasn't giving up on it. And now the thing is getting huge. It's growing 35 pounds a day. <laughs> so it's proving that it is worth something. 35 pounds a day. Wow. Glenna has shown us that it takes hard work combined with preparation to help make this garden grow these amazing pumpkins. I believe that when we combine faithfulness to our Lord with uh, a sense of using the creative gifts that God provides for us, and then a sense of trusting in the Spirit, then we can make our own corner of God's garden grow in our lives. Here at Church of the Lakes, we are committed to that mission to help us to know Christ and to make Christ known uh, through our service to a world that needs Jesus Christ. That would include assisting the Manjama Healthcare Clinic in Sierra Leone, provide for the needs of children and families battling the challenges of malaria, HIV, and Ebola. I invite all of you to combine faithfulness to the Lord with generous stewardship of our gifts, and then a willingness to passionately serve the wider world to make an awesome difference in the kingdom. We read in Ephesians 3, God can do anything you know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us his spirit deeply and gently within us.